okay so that's my azure portal and i'm logged in with my account so let's go ahead and learn how you can connect to the cloud shell to connect to the cloud shell just click on this little icon which looks like a command prompt and it will pop up that little box now keep in mind that this little box itself is a virtual machine and it needs to have some kind of a storage in the back end so it can store all your scripts and files and for that purpose it needs a storage account you have to click on create storage and it will take about a minute to create the storage account all right looks like that is ready let's go for a full screen mode now there are quite a lot of options on the top if you would like to toggle between bash and powershell that's the way to go just click on powershell and it will restart the instance and connect to the powershell mode you can restart the whole instance by clicking on this so just in case if your server is stuck or your commands that you're getting executed are not getting executed as per the documentation then you might want to restart the machine there is a help option the settings inside the settings you can change the text and the font and if you would like to download and upload files into this machine then that's the way to go you can just click on this and click on upload or download then you can change to a new session which will open up totally different session on a different browser then you can connect to a script method so this will open a new editor on the right hand side you will get a new text editor where you can write your own script a bash script probably then if you would like to search something or configure in a particular way open the ports you just need to enter the port number here and it will open the port on that security group on the firewall so these are certain options we have we do not have to memorize these options because these keep on changing microsoft keeps adding new buttons and features to provide more value to the cloud shell at this point we can close it and run certain commands on the cloud shell one such command is az account list that will tell me the details about my subscription so this tells me that yes this is an azure cloud account it's a pay as you go account and it is not disabled it is enabled account so it's operational there are several commands that you can run to create virtual machines, restart instances, etc. Let's also do certain commands on PowerShell. Now, as I informed earlier that you have to restart the Cloud Shell. It takes about a minute to get it operational, up and running. Okay, now that the Azure PowerShell is ready, we are now ready to execute certain commands. Let's start with this command called get hyphen Azure RM subscription. Yeah. So when I hit enter, it should tell me the subscription that I belong to. And we can then run more commandlets. Get hyphen Azure RM subscription. And then you can then probably select a particular object if you want or if you want to identify all of them just say pipe to gm and these are the properties that you can pull up let's say you want to know the current storage account only or the current storage account name then you would say get iphone azure rm subscription and then you want to select just the current storage account and maybe the current storage account name as well so it's not case sensitive it's okay powershell is really forgiving and it's very much grammar friendly it won't have to be upper cases and doesn't have to be case sensitive hit enter um so current storage account and current storage account name is empty yeah there are no typos but still we did not get any output so there are no values in there the point is to show you that you can run all PowerShell commands and CLI based commands in the single console by just toggling between these two. So regardless you are a Linux user or Windows user, you would still like this way of managing resources because you can write shell scripts or PowerShell scripts. Moving forward when we proceed in the course, we will learn how do you deploy resources with 
PowerShell. How do you restart instances with shell scripts, etc. So there's a lot coming up, but this video is just an introduction to the shell.